Hello, Brian here from Church 2.0. Going to show you about the new features of version 210702. If you've already got an instance and have not seen this, then it should be coming uh, to you very shortly. Um, one of the things, uh, well, actually, a couple of things here. So let's sign in. If you want to try any of these features out, you can go to church2.co forward slash try and you'll get here. And then you can sign in with the admin credentials. We'll sign in and we'll use demo at church2 with demo demo sign in. Okay, so let's go down here. All right, so one of the first things we've got going on here is if you go to administration and show parishioners, you have the ability to delete the user here. If you don't need them, you just delete them. Let's delete, uh, let's delete this user right here. Are you sure you want to delete? Okay and done that's easy and go back here take a look at the parishioner list and not there okay so that is one of the features we have fixed the name tag printing so if you click on somebody's name tag see it kind of looks a little weird here but all you have to do is control p and it's ready for printing out and you can see that this is a little bit shifted so we will be working on that to just tweak it a little bit more if you happen to see something like that you can let us know this will fit in the standard staples um, name tag holders we'll try to link them in the description but there you go that's that and finally if we go in under edit church info, of course, if we are an administrator, then you're gonna scroll down here and we will see these custom gifts. So um, this is for the occasions where you have something going on. Uh, maybe it's Easter flowers or maybe it's a fundraiser at dinner whatever you're doing there you can make use of church too to um, allow people to quickly get into that so let's do um, here is the custom text so maybe this is your Easter flowers and then we have to enable the button so we click that checkbox you see that it's checked and then the amount this will be a standard amount without decimal points or cents. Keep in mind that there's the 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction, so you might want to kind of factor that in there. Let's say the Easter flowers are uh, $20, but you might want to go, let's say $23. We'll cover the costs and all that. And then you submit it. And what you'll find down here is you've got a new purple button. And this is available on all of the main pages. So when people log in, you can tell people to check for the purple button on their screen and they can tap that. And when they do, you'll see that we're gonna be making that offering and automatically it's being earmarked for those Easter flowers with the $23. So we click the pay with card and then we put in uh, our email. And we put in our card number. And we put in our information. Now this is a test number. Okay. There we go. And of course, because I'm part of the finance team here, I do have access to all of the information. Um, Actually, as a matter of fact, no giving data is available here because I have set another thing which I am going to show you. Um, so Church 2.0 has its online giving through Stripe. 
Um, but there is the option for churches that use Vanco or anything else like that and they don't want to use the included Stripe integration for uh, online giving. You just see the give online here. Um, the way that's set up is when you go into administration and edit church info, go down here, down here, and you see there is under application connections, there's override Stripe giving. And if you use Venco or something else like that, you just paste your URL in for your link and then it will take over. But we're gonna just delete that now, submit it. And then we see we have our online giving information. As a member of the finance, it tells us what the offerings were, what the Stripe fees were calculated to, and what a deposit should look like. So we can go up here also and see our offering list. And we notice that, okay, here we go. We've got Easter flowers here, $23, demo user. And of course, you can say thank you to them and send a quick email by just clicking that send thank you link. So if you have any other questions, you can always reach out to us uh, on email or telephone or text or social, and we will get back to you. Thank you so much and enjoy.